What's up, good people? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, I am here in cahoots, in conjunction with Guitar World magazine for another fine review of a fine guitar product. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the Court A6 Gold Acoustic. Uh, Guitar World's always hooking me up with cool stuff to check out. So this is a, a great guitar at a great price. I looked around online and I saw it's about $7.99 in the U.S., is what I'm seeing it go for, and it is a whole lot of guitar for that much money. First of all, it sounds fantastic, um, and I uh, did a little bit of research about what it's made out of. So it's a Sitka spruce top, solid top, and solid mahogany back and sides. Macassar ebony fingerboard that's really beautiful, and evidently this uh, variety of uh, ebony shares a lot of the sonic properties of rosewood. The top goes through a torification process to make it sound more like an old piece of wood, like it's been aged and, you know, worn in. I noticed on the inside, I brought this up in acoustic guitar videos before, that the bracing is scalloped, like old school style Gibsons and Martins were. So it's quite um, narrow, thin bracing with a really nice scallop to it. It doesn't have great big round bracings like I see in a lot of modern acoustic guitars. And to me, that just means that you know, if you can get away with a little bit less bracing, it's great because it just seems to let the whole guitar ring and speak better. Some other nice features, we got ebony bridge pins. Sides of the fingerboard and the fret edges are rolled and it feels really broken in and nice. The neck was a little bit bowed when I took it uh, out of the uh, the nice gig bag that it comes with, but a quick uh, turn of the truss rod, I just had to tighten it a little bit and it took care of that, you know, probably just the change in weather and stuff and shipping, and that brought the action down and now it plays just great. Back of the headstock features a volute, so the wood's nice and thick there and should add uh, stability and strength for sure, as well as feeling nice at that end of the neck when you get down there with your thumb. Seems to intonate and stay in tune great. It's got a UV finish and it's very, very thin evidently, which helps to you know, not dampen the guitar's natural vibration too much and helps with the tone. What else? What else? The neck is reinforced by some walnut strips on the inside, I guess, uh, to keep it, you know, nice and strong and straight and true and keep it from warping or anything like that. The body shape's an auditorium, which is right in between a dreadnought and a grand concert. Uh, and it's got this great cutaway, um, which is, you know, terrific for getting way up the neck there. You saw I was able to play like pretty fast and get up the neck and do like single note stuff and even some double stops. <laughs> way up the neck on the you know last to highest fret and uh, yeah it's just really easy to play even up beyond uh, you know the 15th fret. Now the guitar comes with a really really nice and yet simple and easy to use pickup preamp system uh, from Fishman. It's called the Flex Blend system and there's also a built-in tuner so let's take a look at that now. Hello, and welcome to the portion of the video where I talk about the electronics in the guitar. So there's a Fishman pickup system in this guitar that obviously also has a microphone in it, which actually really sounds cool. There's a simple, simple setup here that you can see on the side of the guitar that allows for both the volume of the preamp system, as well as to adjust the tone, as well as to blend in the microphone, which is right about here. It's a, some sort of, you know, condenser microphone, I do believe, that you could just blend in with the under saddle pickup system. I've got the volume control cranked up quite high right now. Okay, this is the tone control right here on the guitar. And what happens is you've kind of got a full range sort of flat sound, I do believe, when it's turned all the way down. Now, if you move it towards the middle, this control, what happens is you're gonna get a little bit less mids and bass and treble are gonna start filling in. So let's check what, what that sounds like. Now, turning this up from all the way down up to about halfway. So you can kind of contour the sound that way. It's basically bringing up the bass and the treble and then scooping the mids a little bit, okay? And then if I if I turn it all the way up to 10, it's just gonna to continue to do the same thing, so. Okay, so if we set that control, let's say about maybe 10 or 11 o'clock, we'll scoop out some of the mids, and then let's check out what happens when we mix in the, uh, the microphone, because this gets really interesting.
Okay, and I've got the speakers up actually in my studio here quite loud right now, but um, I'm not getting any feedback from that mic at all, even though you can hear it's somewhat active. Hello. But um, one thing that's cool is you can actually hold down the tone control and it flips the phase of the output of the guitar. You know, a certain point on a stage where the monitors are up kind of loud and you find you're getting feedback, you can try flipping that phase and that might actually uh, go a long ways towards sort of notching and eliminating the feedback that you can experience. But anyways, I love the, the nice natural sound that I get with the mic blended in. Let's bring the tone control up to about halfway and take the pickup out a little bit. I'll bring it down. Anyway, long story short, good sounding, simple pickup system, simple tone control, blend in a mic really easily, dig it. So you can see there on the side of the guitar, you get, um, by pushing the volume control, you get the tuner. And you can turn it off and on by just holding down the volume control there, and you can see how it's green or blue. If I play a string, and it's in tune, it'll be green. If it goes flat or sharp, it'll turn blue. And in practice, the tuner seems to work quite well. I just realized actually that it mutes when the tuner's on. Haha, <laughs> that makes sense. So I was wondering why I didn't have any sound there for a minute. But so once you turn the tuner off, I get the guitar back. So one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna track with this sound that I've got right now using the uh, just the sound straight out of the pickup and the preamp in the guitar to just cut my scratch guitar part real quick. Thanks for watching my video on the Court Gold A6. This is a really, really nice acoustic guitar um, for you know substantially under a thousand dollars in the U.S. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with what you can get these days for not a heck of a lot of money. I mean, it sounds terrific. Um, the built-in electronics work great, nice and simple to use, and yet really natural sounding with the the microphone. It's great having a built-in tuner. I love that. You know, not having to use a headstock tuner or anything like that. It's a really pretty guitar too. I mean, the it's really tasteful and kind of understated with the, the nice inlay and, you know, not too ornate but not too plain Jane either. I like that. So you can check it out further at that website down there in the video description below. Click there and it'll take you to all the info about the court 
A6 Gold. Thanks again to my pals at Guitar World, my partners over there for uh, hooking me up with some fun stuff that I probably wouldn't get the chance to check out otherwise. Please visit my friends at Guitar World at the link in the video description below as well. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe and you will get an alert every time I put out a new video. Please come back and check me out for more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take care. Thank you.